So guys, this little video is all about uh, diagnostic trouble codes and uh, don't take them too literally. Think them through, um, jump into conclusions on a DTC can lead to some very expensive mistakes and frustration. So you've got a Suzuki SX4 guys with a uh, two liter um, gasoline engine and uh, you've got some problems and you run on your scan tool to see if you can pick up any DTCs and this is what's staring you in the face uh, once your heart starts back up again uh, because you know fine well that on the 2 liter engine it means splitting the gearbox from the engine in order to access or replace this sensor um, you're staring big money in the face right or are you uh, that that's assuming that there actually is an issue with the crank sensor and you've diagnosed it properly um, let's dig a wee bit deeper into this. I never touched the crank sensor on this car, guys. Uh, the crank sensor is completely functional. I never doctored it. I did doctor the car for the sake of making a point here. Let's take a look. So I recently had a question in the comments on one of my videos, guys, uh, regarding uh, SX4 that wouldn't start. It was a no start, no crank uh, issue. So this is actually the drawing for the, uh, the starter. Um, cranking system as the manual actually refers to it and it's you know reasonably straightforward right so we have the battery itself here of course two ground lines coming off to it and then the heavy gauge wire that goes directly to the starter again like most cars we have the, uh, the solenoid the two coils for the uh, pull in and hold in and uh, there's also a separate control relay so there's a feed from the ignition switch uh, separate fuse, the relay, and um, this goes to the BCM, the other side of the coil. So this side of the BCM is likely tied in with the interlocks and the security system, guys. So as long as this is happy, the BCM will apply the, uh, the uh, ground to this side of the coil and allow the, uh, and allow the, uh, the, the relay to actually energize in order to pull the uh, contact over here. That's of course when the switch is in the start uh, position, the ignition switch. That would be the only time this line is actually powered. As long as everything's happy with the BCM, energize the coil, pull over the switch here, and allow the uh, the power to come down from a separate fuse, heavy uh, 30 amp fuse it comes down because the current on the solenoid is likely quite heavy. It comes down to energize the solenoid, pull in the solenoid, and rotate the starter, and provide feedback to the BCM that is everything's uh, copacetic and we're actually applying power to the solenoid of the starter itself confirmation that that circuit is actually uh, functional so um, I'm gonna go to the car here and um, see if I can duplicate the scenario that actually transpired on this fella's car oh by the way this is for the um, uh, manual transmission guys if you had a, uh, an automatic uh, there's a park neutral switch that one of the safety interlocks that has to be uh, um, uh, complete before the uh, circuit is complete here so that's the difference between the manual and um, uh, automatic transmission I assume the uh, clutch depression switch must be monitored elsewhere by the BCM and that would be a part of this circuit here for the ground on the coil because it's not actually shown on the drawing here unless that's just an anomaly on the drawing but I doubt it so um, Back to this fella's car. He had a uh, crank sensor fault come up on his uh, uh, car. And um, I want to see if I can duplicate this scenario. Composite ratchet, quarter inch for battery safety. There's no much risk if you take the, take the ground off first and put it on last, I don't think, but still kind of makes sense for 15 20 bucks okay so just inside the car here guys this is a keyless uh, ignition system so i'm just going to attempt to crank the car i've got it doctored so there's no crank as you can see i'm in the crank position there's no crank let's take a look at the dtc's Okay, so 
this is in fact simulated. That's pretty serious. If you've seen this on your SX4, believe me, um, and you had a mechanic that didn't know differently, you could be looking at some big money. It has absolutely nothing to do with a crank sensor. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so I'm under the car here, guys. It is difficult to actually show you, but that is the solenoid of the starter that you're looking at right there. I know it's difficult to tell. That is the 12 volt line that goes to the uh, to the uh, solenoid. You can see I've removed the connector from the uh, from the male tab that's actually on the solenoid for the control of the solenoid, the feet of the solenoid itself. Um, so I've removed it, and with that removed, uh, the feedback to the ECM does tell the uh, ECM that the uh, starter is powered and there's no rotation. Hence, it thinks there's an issue with a crankshaft sensor. There's not an issue with a crankshaft sensor. The starter is not rotating. The ECM can't differentiate the two. Um, apparently, there's a wee bit of an oversight on the design here because as long as there's power being applied down on this line, again, in the start position, as long as the fuse is intact and all the wiring, the uh, relay will actually have a 12 volt supply as long as the, the engine control module is happy with all the interlocks and the security, it will apply the ground to this side, energizing the coil, pulling over the contact for the uh, high current feed, the 30 amp fuse that comes down through the relay and applies the uh, power to the uh, solenoid. So again, I removed this contact. That's all I did. So the starter's not rotating, of course, right? Because the solenoid's not energized in order to pull in the... Uh, the uh, solenoid, the plunger on the heavy contacts and, and actually spin the starter. So the, the ECM sees that there's power here and there's no crank rotation. But it doesn't really see the crank rotation. All it sees is there's no signal coming from the, uh, the crank sensor. There is no crank rotation, so there is not going to be any uh, input from the uh, crank position sensor. So this is a classic example of, think through the uh, DTC. Sometimes they're not as obvious as you think. And again, as I said, the crank position sensor on the two liter SX4s is a split the gearbox from the engine job. Think it through, guys. Oh, thank God the uh, tab on the solenoid didn't break off. I can't afford to, to be destroying my car in the process of making stupid YouTube videos. <laughs> That's that voice. Cheers.